Good afternoon. Welcome back to another cloudy day here in eastern North Carolina. It was raining this morning. Here it is in the afternoon now, and I'm going to start a new uh, little project. And this one's going to be a bit of an experiment, something I've never necessarily done before, or a few things I've never done before. Now, if I still lived in New York and I had my lovely little garden there, I would be planting out bulbs between now and the end of November uh, all throughout the garden. Uh, tulips, daffodils, hyacinth, etc., etc. I know the ground freezes pretty hard there and I know or I'm, I'm pretty confident as to what to expect come the springtime with whatever I plant out. That's not the case here in eastern North Carolina. It's a completely different growing zone. I went from 7A to 8A. That's like a huge, it's a massive difference uh, in temperature ranges. And though North, uh, eastern North Carolina here does freeze, it doesn't get the cold, hard freezes such as New York. All that being said, I'm going to start to plant out some bulbs, which may not seem that peculiar to those of you who live in a colder climate, but here it is a tad peculiar because the, I, we haven't had a frost yet, not expected to have a frost until mid-November at the, um, you know, possibly the earliest. Who knows, maybe Mother Nature will surprise us with something later or earlier, that's up to her. In the meantime, I'm going to turn around today and conduct a little experiment. I'm going to plant up grape hyacinth, otherwise known as muscari. Muscari? Muscari. I, if I'm, I'll put it down here. I, often mispronounce or can pronounce these things correctly. And I'm going to be planting them into this little terracotta pot. Now, this is not all the uh, grape hyacinth I have. I have, I got a bag of 50 from Brex. Uh, it's an online store and they should look something like this come the springtime. The experiment I'm going to do today from the reading I've done is that basically muscari are fairly hardy. They grow in almost any conditions, any environment, uh, except for a swamp. Uh, that being said, they do prefer pretty well-drained soil. So I'm going to turn around, pop these up. I'm gonna pot up 10 of them into this pot here. I've never grown grape hyacinth in a pot before. So I'm gonna put them in the pot and I'm gonna leave here on the bench. The other 40 that I have, I will be planting out into the garden in the upcoming weeks. Once I get some supplies there from Lowe's and they stop screwing up my orders, uh, <laughs> so I will pot up the tent today into the pot. We'll leave it here on the bench. And what we'll do is we'll watch and see what happens between now and the springtime. Will these start to um, emerge with foliage before the first frost? If they do, it's fine. Apparently, again, my research on the internet says they can start doing that and the frost will kill back the foliage. They'll be fine. They'll come back in the spring. But if I plant these in the pot today and I plant out in the garden, in the upcoming weeks. What will be the difference of the size of the plants themselves? Is, will there be any difference? I don't know. Again, this is all going to be an experiment. So let me stop babbling, start planting. And the first thing I'm going to do is fill this pot with a mixture of uh, garden soil that I gotten out of a bag. Uh, and mixed in will, is a lot of perlite and some what Monty Don likes to call grit. Uh, <laughs> what I'm using today is a horticultural grit which is actually meant for like chickens and stuff. I guess it helps clean their stomachs out. You could also use pea gravel. Uh, I actually had some pea gravel and I was going to use that and I went, wait a minute, I think I have some of that horticultural grit. And it's just basically a fine stone, uh, fine granite as it were. But between that, the grit and the perlite, it will actually help provide good drainage, theoretically. Again, we will see this is all an experiment and I don't know how much rain we're going to get this winter. In Eastern North Carolina, we don't get really any snow. We do get a lot of rain because we don't get a lot of freeze. I'm gonna plant this up and we'll see what happens. Like many bulbs, if you plant them at least, the, apparently at least twice the depth of the bulb, then uh, you're okay. These bulbs are probably about an inch. I'll be planting them uh, so about three inches down. So I think that should keep me clear. And again, I have 10, 10 of these bulbs but I'm gonna tuck these all in here and I'll show you that in a second. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so there are my 10 bulbs. I tried going for a circular pattern that didn't quite work out, but there they are. I will then proceed to cover them up with soil and like I said, we'll uh, wait until the springtime and see what happens. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my soil mixture with the grit. This is all a little wet because 
Again, it had been raining this morning, so everything's a little damp. And just for good measure, I'm gonna put a little mulch on top of that. This also should theoretically help uh, prevent any uh, weed seed from taking root, hopefully, maybe, who knows. And there you go, all potted up, planted up. And again, I'm gonna leave these, I'll label them, and I'm gonna leave these until here on the potting bench until next spring, and we'll see what happens. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Click the bell icon to be notified of uh, when I do post up a video. And then again, you could follow along with whatever antics I'm up to or find out whatever happened to the pot of uh, grape hyacinth, also known as muscari. And that'll be it for today. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.